Hey everybody, how you doing? Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Brian. Yes, I'm making breakfast and my name is Brian, Brian Barolo, and this is my kitchen. Welcome, come on in, let's hang out for a minute. Okay, today I'm going to talk about PA install Rose Tree Park. PA, some people don't know what PA is. PA is a public address. So, in essence, it's a sound system. That's all. So people say, oh, PA, 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 it's public address system, sound system, very simple. Well, anyway, I'm in the middle of doing a brand new PA install at Rose Tree Park. Hang on, I forgot to turn radio down. And a long jacket. I love it, I love that song, it's great. That's what I want. I want a girl with a long short skirt and a long jacket. That'll work for me. All right, well anyway, uh, I'm working with Price Stevenson and PSAR, Price Stevenson Audio Research is the company. They handle the Delaware County Outdoor Theaters, Delaware County, Pennsylvania, where I live in media and so forth. Um, so anyway, Rose Tree Park's an amphitheater, and it has like 40, 45 shows every year. And uh, I go in and put in the lighting system and focus it and then help and hang the PA system for them. So anyway, they have upgraded and they bought a brand new PA system. All right, the PA system had to come with a brand new rigging package, all right? So it was a big frame and it's a couple of brackets that we mounted onto the columns because there's columns at Rose Tree Park and you put the PA on the columns. All right, I took the old PAs down, took the old brackets down, and then we've been fucking with these new brackets, which are uh, like pole clamps or in the company I was with Light Action, we designed tent pole clamps and this is in essence, the same thing. It's a different design slightly, but it's in the exact same. It's the exact same setup. In essence, it uses chains to go around the pole, and you tighten it all up, and the chains compress into the pole, and everything gets really tight. Rodney, how's it going? I haven't seen you in a long time. I hope everything's going great. And kid, the wife, and family, and work, and all. I hear you mention you on radio every once in a while. Good to see you, my man, Rodney. Ryan Morris, how you doing? John, how you doing, John? I'm an Adititas and Joe Beliski. Hey, Joe, how's it going? I think that's Joe. I'm looking for 52. You know what I mean? Max Durkin, how's it going? People popping up. Okay, so, so I'm doing this install, and it's been two days. I'm working with these brand new clamps, and what a pain in the ass. Well, anyway, we got the clamps up after two days, and the frame was up and down, and now today uh, we're going to go in and frame up the PA, and we have to get it all up and get it mounted. No big deal. But they're trying to figure out how to do this because there's no rigging points. So you can't hook motors and I suggested genie lips and whatever, you know, blah, 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 blah. And it came down to that they're scrambling and scrambling. And so I'm telling them, I don't care. I'm not going to do this unless it's done right and safe. So I forced them to go get a lull. Now I've been working on a uh, snorkel boom lip, which is works fine because the way we uh, rig everything and hang everything and the speakers were small, they weren't small, but they were lightweight, you know, the old PA, whatever, I don't know. We're doing a line array now, so we're doing the brand new brackets and the whole frame and the PA is going to be in the frame and the frame can swivel and then the PA can do this. So it's a lot of work, but I'm working with a couple of people that really don't have the true concepts, so they're kind of running me around in circles a little bit, but we got them up, and we're doing it today. Uh, I forced them to get a lull so I can use the lull to pick the frame with the PA up and put it up there, and we can bolt it into the two brackets, and we'll be good to go. Should have only been two days if this was prepared correctly. You know what I'm talking about on installs with companies that send stuff out. The company that built the framework is from Germany, okay? Heavy-duty stuff. The PA is, is less weight then the frame, the frame itself is, uh, what do you say, it was 3 sixteenths inch steel? Or, yeah, it was 3 eighths, uh, no, yeah. 3 16, yeah, I think it was 3 sixteenths inch steel walls, and it's a cube tubular frame, and it's big, and it's heavy. It's just insane. This is like almost going back to old school, but it works somehow and uh but whatever but anyway my point being is with some of these bars that they sent and all the pieces that have to go together it's all really good but uh it's old school but it works and it's uh pretty clean and simple 
but here they send the stuff and it's supposed to be coming from the manufacturer in separate specific sizes, locations of the bolts and the speakers and you know how companies have to get together to get all this information 100%. So when a manufacturer has a bar and they drill holes, then when it shows up that your speakers should line up exactly, well, guess what? The mounting bars for the line array, so the line array is five speakers and there's plates on it and there's a bar that goes from this speaker to this speaker. Now those bars mount in the frame, so now the PA can do this, right? Well, those two arms have the holes drilled in them to go into the speakers and the hole drilled in to go into the frame. The ones to go into the speakers are too small. What? Yes, we cannot mount those hanging bars onto the line array because the holes are too small. So they hopefully Price took them home. He took them home last night. We put them in his car and hopefully he took them home and he drill pressed them. It's supposed to be five eighths. We drilled the five eighths hole on site with a hand drill and it's a real pain in the ass and that thick of steel. That's why I want to use the drill press. But anyway, uh, we'll see. I hope he drills them out. I hope he didn't drill them out too big because now he wants to go to three quarter inch. I'm like, just drill next to it or cut it out because the holes that are drilled need to move a half a hole or a quarter inch or a half three eighths of an inch because the manufacturer didn't line them up exactly to the way the community speakers, the community set up their system. So I don't know. I'm at a loss. I'm just the rigger. I'm just going to get the thing up and make it happen, make it fly. But be careful. You got to double check. Everybody must tip, triple check, quadruple check all these tiny little freaking details when you're trying to put two different manufacturers gear together. Community and this Polar Eclipse company from Germany that made the frames. Now, why aren't the holes lined up and drilled out correctly to match onto the speakers? Because now that's costing us an extra day. It's not my dollar. I'm just doing the work. But anyway, I want to get going with my breakfast here. A bunch more people stopped on. Let me say hi. Max Durkin, how you doing? Good to, good to see you, buddy. Brian, Brian Holsworth. Awesome. So I picked the other day. Thank you for sharing. Okay. So... Enough of the PA install at Rose Tree Park. I'm going to finish it up today. They're bringing me a lull, and I got a lull on a man lift, and I'll do the low, and then I have to either do it, set it, and go in the man lift and do it all myself, or somebody else will get in the snorkel, maybe Price will, and I'll we'll work it out. It's going to happen. We're going to make it work today. We have a show tonight, so I've got to get it up and get it finished. So, but anyway, thank you for joining me. So now I'm going to go into my fruit deal. Okay, let me go over here, and... Uh, I know the lights are good. I didn't have the extra lights. Not over here. Anyway, I got my pitcher, ninja pitcher with my blade. All good, ready to go. This is gonna be a very simple one. I don't have a whole lot here. So I'm taking a couple of apples. I'm gonna take my apple core and I'm going to core it and through the apple into the juice. So mostly apple on this one. Because I'm uh, running low, a little bit of seed. I'm gonna have to take that out. I don't want that bit of the apple in my apple because it's part of the core. Sometimes apple cores are a little bit thicker, sometimes a little bit thinner. Doesn't matter. Anyway, there's the apple core. I got two apples in here. Okay, now I have some of uh, coconut left over. So I'm going to chop it up a little bit, as small as I can get it. It doesn't grind the best, and it grinds down to a powder and gets really thick and sticks like glue almost. That's a little darker in here, but it's a lot of big. I've got coconut to put into my juice. Okay, there we go. There's my coconut. I bet anybody out there have your juice? You have juice or a vitamin or anything in the morning, like I used to? I've changed things up here, and I don't care. That's all there is to it. Change, change is good. Change is for better. Okay, I got pineapple that I had from the other day. I'm going to put a lot of that in here because this is going to be my base, my majority of all my fruit. Some of it's starting to go bad. And I will not eat the bad stuff if I can help it. It's down to in your intestines, actually, you know, you've got the runs or whatever. So be careful with your fruit. Look at it, make sure it's all good. This is all pretty good. There's only a couple of little pieces that were so-so. 
Okay, I'll put a bunch of juice in there. Some fresh pineapple juice. Do a little bit with a couple of pieces I have left. I'll save that for later, tonight, tomorrow, or something like that. Okay, so that's basically all I have is the apple and the pineapple and the coconut. So I'm going to mix that up, and I'm going to mix up some other things. Get my motor in here. There we go. Grind it up. I'll add some juice and we'll get it drinkable. Coconut's the hardest part because it uh, takes longer to grind up. Okay, not that much juicy juice in here. It's that kind of a uh, fruits and it doesn't carry that much juice. So I'm gonna add a good bit of cranberry, cran raspberry, that's what I do. And uh, I'll tell you what, Ocean Spray and all these other companies, you know, it's all the exact same stuff, same manufacturer, just a different name. Somebody's calling me too bad, they gotta wait. Okay, a bit of OJ, and we'll throw the, uh, the Grind up. All right, let everybody know real quick. My battery's getting low. I'm going to try and plug it in so it can keep going real quick. So if you lose me, say la vie. Let me get my plug. My power cord. I guess I might be taking a little longer on this one than I expected. Maybe I can keep it going. Scrambling, I'm scrambling. Get it? Not gonna get it. Now, I don't have an extension handy. Nope, I can't get it. Okay, so I'm gonna move over to here. So if you hang, just hang there for a minute. And see if I can uh, keep going because I do have breakfast cooking on the stove already. All right, let's see. Maybe this will work. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay, so anyway, scramble, scramble, as we might try to do or have to do every once in a while here and there, whatever it is we are doing. Okay, how's that? Is that okay? Thanks. All right, so get back to my juice over here. And try it up. Pretty good. Let's see what we got. My glass, bring it on over. Give her some of this stuff. And we'll show you the juice. See if it came out real thin. I put a lot of juice in there. It's still kind of thick though, but it's a little light in color. Cheers, but before I do that, again, I every day, first thing I put into my body is water. I take water to bed, drink water through the night if thirsty, and I finish it first thing before I do anything else, water in my body. And if you've ever tried that, you know what I'm talking about because you can feel it like wash the inside of you. So it's my internal shower. Okay, here's my juice. Cheers to you, everybody. Bit on the orangey side. It's still a little thick. So I think I'm going to put it back and I'm going to get some more cran, cran rags, and put it in. And mix it up, maybe get a little bit more out of it. All right, so before I continue that with my juice, I want to come over here because I started cooking. And I have everything ready. I cook some potatoes and uh, some peppers from my garden. And chopped them all up with some spices. And then I threw in a couple of sausages. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out, take half of it, and cook a couple eggs on it. So I'm going to get a container. I'll put some of, my, uh, some of this on. I'm only going to cook, wait, not done. All right, that's right. All right, so I'm going to take half of it, take one and a half sausages and probably half my potatoes, roughly, and put them in a container. And I'm going to make my breakfast. Okay. 
So there we go. Now we take a couple eggs, crack them on top, make Western eggs. Very simple. I really love these Western eggs. I started doing them a long time ago. So before I do that, though, I am going to turn this on. And I'm going to mix in. I'm going to take a turmeric tablet and some pepper, black pepper, and mix it in. Because this is, I haven't been taking my turmeric lately, and my arthritis has really been nasty. My hand, especially, has been really bad. My shoulders, my neck. Because of doing all this PA work, I'm doing a lot of labor, a lot of ratcheting, tightening a bracket, and loosening it, and shifting it, and tapping with a hammer. Getting these brackets without laser lines, royal pain in the ass. So anyway, I'm going to take a tablet, I mean a turmeric, I'm going to open it up, and just sprinkle it in my food. Just like so. I'm going to take some black pepper, which will excite it. Thank you, Julie. Thank you very much. And uh, there you go. I'm going to put some black pepper in there because that excites the turmeric. So the black pepper and the turmeric kind of act as a uh, anti-inflammatory or uh, an anti-inflammatory. It reduces pain, reduces inflammation, that kind of stuff. It's really good. So I'm, I'm using it. And I haven't used it in a while, I don't feel it because I haven't used it. So, okay. Got a little burning from cooking earlier and walking away and not paying attention to 100%, which happens. So, I'm just scraping it up a little bit. Okay, mixing this up. I get my turmeric and my pepper mixed in there. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take two eggs, crack them right on top. Boom, there's one, and boom, there's two. There's two eggs, and spread them out a little bit so that they can cook. Cover it, and I'll let it go. There we go. That's going to be my breakfast. Did you have breakfast today? Do you not have breakfast? you just have a cup of coffee and go to work? I don't know, I believe, and I was taught, and I was raised, that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. To me, it is, and it's worked for me every, every single time. So, okay, well, there you go. PA installed Roastery Park still going on. Unfortunately, it's three days now, but I made them get a lull, and I'm gonna fork everything in with the lull and do it correctly, because it's like 900 pounds per PA or something. And Three guys can't lift this up. We can't pull it up with ropes, and there's no points up top. So I've already went through all this crap, and I've been there for a number of years, so I know this thing. All right, a few more people stopping on before I continue here. See and say hi. Bob Kira, how you doing? Rodney, hey. Tell Price, okay, Rodney, I will tell Price you said hello. It's cool. Rocco, good to see you again. Okay, so waiting for my eggs to cook. And I'll put my eggshells in my water. And I'll have my breakfast, and I got my juice already. I'll be trying my juice again. Okay, so I got I poured some more juice in here. I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. So that it's uh, a little thinner, a little bit easier to drink. There we go. Now it's looking like real juice. Even better since I had a little bit more of that cramp. A lot thinner, way more drinkable. There you go. And here I go. Cheers to you. Mmm, mmm. That's really good. The pineapple being the base with the touch of the apple in there. The pineapple and the apple. How about that? Pine apple. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. Alright, so I got my eggs starting to cook. Let them go for a minute. And we will continue. Did everything else? Wish me luck. Everybody out there doing PA installs like me, I hope you don't have the same difficulties that we ran into in the last two days. But I've gotten past those problems and we're moving on. We're finishing up today. You ever have a chance and you're in media, you want to go see a free show, go to Rose Tree Park Amphitheater. Free shows Wednesday through Saturday and Sunday. Berries 
Every week's a little bit different, and they have four to five shows every single week. So three shows. Bring a blanket, bring whatever, lay out on the grass, and watch a nice show. It's really, really cool. It's really good. Uh, I, I'm pushing it, and I believe in it, and I've been to a couple of them. It's awesome. It's really, really good. Bring your date. Boom. Bring your date, a little wine pouch. You don't have to tell anybody, you know what I mean? Bring some snacks. You can have a really, really good time and a summer evening. So, Rusty Park. I can't wait to go and hear the new PA once he gets it up. I'm not going to listen tonight because it's the first night, so you got to give him a couple nights to do a couple of mixes to get it right. All right. Well, there you go. My eggs are almost done. Had my juice. Got my turmeric in there. We talked about the PA at Rose Street Park and the brand new and the problems and the situations and the manufacturers and their specifications going with another manufacturer since everybody's proprietary. One sixteenth or one sixty fourth or one thirty second of an inch difference can cause serious problems and delays in installations. So if you're smart, you get into it from the very, very beginning. And you learn and you figure out all those tiny little details, like the bolts, putting the frames together. They're seven and a quarter inches. They should be eight because the nuts don't go all the way. So the threads on the bolt don't go all the way through the nut. Do I want to leave a 900-pound piece hanging with a bolt that doesn't have the, the nut that doesn't have the bolt go through? Me? No. I like to see that bolt all the way through that nut. And then I can put some Loctite at the very end of it, and it won't come undone. These are serious safety issues. So be aware of all these tiny little details, all right? Okay, here at Breakfast with Brian. I appreciate everybody coming by and having a good time. What we always do is we find 10 happies for me, 10 happies. You find 10 happies for you. Happies, I say, or thankfuls or gratefuls. Finding things that will make you happy, bring you happiness, uh, things you're thankful for, things you're grateful for. Here, I'm going to do my list real quick, you know. I'm happy I woke up. I'm grateful I'm alive. I'm thankful my back doesn't hurt. I'm happy I took a quick shower. I'm really glad and happy uh, that I stretched and did some exercises. I'm very happy for everybody down popping in and saying hi to me and hanging out with me. I'm very grateful for having food. I'm thankful that I have learned the knowledge and to cook my breakfast. I'm happy that I can make myself a killer juice. I'm thankful for the ability to do all of that. I've already hit 10 happies. 10 happies, thankfuls, or gratefuls. Very, very easy. Give it a shot. It helps you become more and more positive as you go through your day. All right? Next thing is three love shares. Very simple. What I do is I just get away by going, have a great day, but do it with some enthusiasm. Don't just say, ah, have a good day. Have a good day. That's just being socially proper. Give it a little bit. Give it some of your energy. Put a little bit out there. Have a great day. Get them excited because then the other person goes, wow, that was unexpected. And that brings them up a notch. And then maybe they'll bring the next person up a notch. And let's get this, let's get this contagious positivity, bring everybody up a notch going today and every day. How about it? All right? Ten happies, three love shares. Now, in your home, I say the love gun. You shoot people in your house. With love, with positivity. Wish them a great day. Talk to them about what they did when they get home. But if you give the positivity comment when you're leaving or they're leaving or somebody's going, hey, going, hey, dude, just be careful, be safe, you know, don't forget to, you know, but do that conversation and wish them safety, wish them positivity, wish them good. And this way, towards the end of the day, everybody comes back looking forward to repeating that good, positive feeling. Thoughts, words, comments, and so forth. So the love gun at home. Love gun. See? Positive comments. It helps everybody within your household. All right? 10, 3, and 2. All right. Let me get my breakfast here. It should be done. And it is. There you go. Potatoes, a couple of sausages, a couple of eggs cooking. I'm going to get them out. I'm going to eat them. And I'm going to go to work. Perfect timing. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. I really, really appreciate you all coming by. Take a look down the road. Keep watching, and I'll be out there. And hey, if you're on Instagram, look for my photos. I post all the pictures from my garden's harvest on my Instagram page. I'm on Twitter, not that much, but I also am on YouTube. So get down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Brian Marolo. Go ahead. Go to YouTube, subscribe. I'm putting a lot of these videos. Most of these videos go on YouTube. I also have... Brian'sHealth.com, 
the blog insight. And you can also go to brianbarolo.com and check things out. I'm still growing my websites. And keep your eyes open for me. Keep your eye out. Keep your eye out for yourself. Have a great, great production day, great day doing things and whatever it is you do. Make it the best you can possibly do. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. I really appreciate everybody coming by. And I'll see you down the road. Ciao.